Hey guys, okay, uh, in this video I'm actually going to show you my uh, man cave, it's a home theatre, man cave, office, get away from the house kind of room, it's, it's, a, it's an all-in-one, um, so yeah, it's just what I converted the garage into, so for home theatre stuff and just getting out, have a few drinks with mates, whatever. I'll give you a look around, we'll have a look at what I've done okay, in this first room. Up, we'll have a look here, that's the um, entrance, the doorway, into the room. And over here, we just have, uh, it's an outdoor fridge. Uh, here is just a poster, I play drums in a band. That was one band I was in. Scroll up here. Uh, that was another band I was in. Okay, right over there, I know there's some junk on top of the fridge, but I have a surround speaker up there. Lays them back, kicking patch back on a couch. Over here, I have a lot of uh, tools, whatever I need, sprays, tools. Um, torches, all sorts of things like that, CDs, an outdoor that I use for indoor heater because it gets bloody cold out here. This thing's awesome, it actually heats the room in about 30 seconds, it doesn't take long at all. Just some power tools there. Oh, and under this cloth here, we'll just get rid of that. Oh, hard to see, if you get a rough idea. That's where I just store my drum kit when I'm not using it. Although I will be using it tonight. Let's move over here. Um, just cabinets full of tools, little knickknacks, a couple of projectors up there, spare ones that I use. I have a bad, mad obsession with the movie The Outsiders. That's an actual laser disc, the videotape, the DVD. Let's get this out of the way. A lot of different editions of the books. Not that I'm a big bookworm, but yeah, I collect all sorts of, if I can find stuff to do with the outsiders, I grab it. Check that out. There's my high def 4K projector, or not. More like it's just a reel to reel projector. I do have some films, Charlie Chaplin movies, and that sort of thing uh, on reel to reel. So that's what that gets used for. We got some just stuff from movies and Simpsons and all that sort of thing. MDs, if you remember what they are, and just other little knickknacks. Move on to the next part. Okay, a lot of alcohol related stuff. I actually have these big bottles in the lounge room, which are unopened. I'm a big Kiss fan. So, there's sort of more of a Kiss related things come down to the next level yeah kind of a bit a bit of a big kiss fan also a massive old stupid fan so there it is there that's signed uh, snare drum skin when I met Eric Singer from Kiss he signed it for me so I've got it sitting up there more kiss related stuff over here we have speakers for my home theater system which is out here in the man cave down there we've got a set of 15 inch B52s. Now these speakers here, I've had them since I was about 13. I think they were called scan sounds, I can't quite remember. And up the top there, sort of more top end um, PB, but it's very uh, high end speakers. The Jim Beam thing for the, you know, barbecue. More KISS related stuff. Yeah, I had to do that. Oh, I'll move over. Just a 60 inch Samsung TV. Above the top there is a screen uh, that gets dropped down when I'm running the projector. Okay, just uh, DVD recorders, center channel, a video player, which I still have video tapes of. And equipment is down here. It's like uh, it's a Pioneer LX60 amplifier. Uh, that runs at about 130, 140 watts per channel, and that it makes things scream. Obviously, CD player, equalizer, MD player, and a very old but still works VHS player. That thing is oh, that's from the Stone Age. That that but uh, it's awesome. Still works. Over here, this is the subwoofer that I use for out here. It's uh, it's a four by ten bass bin. This thing is actually meant for a bass player. Uh, it's about, I think it's about 800 watts. So to run that, I need an amplifier 
and a PBEQ that I use, which gives me all different forms of different, you know, bass um, frequencies, and I can adjust to how I want that to run. The way this works, I have the subwoofer out of the amp, and the line goes into this mixer here, so I can adjust the volume, whoop, there we go, adjust the volume of how much, you know, volume I want going to the bass bin, goes to the EQ, the amplifier, then down to the bin. And over there is more speakers for the other side. More speakers here. Now I'm also a DJ and I work in nightclubs. So this was recently taken out of a club and it's ready to go into another club. Another set of speakers. They are powered speakers that you would use for, you know, backing foldback speakers. When I feel like having a bit of a drink while watching a movie. There we go. I just help myself with that. I'm going to share this with you. This is where I have my drinks set up uh, with my mates who know the show. Uh, I cop a lot of shit about this setup because of the, um, the silver platter, the decanters, and the way the, the glasses look, and all that sort of thing. Now, if you're from Australia, I guess if you're old enough, or you're a fan of the show, if you ever seen the show Prisoner? On the inside, the sun still shines, and the rain. Ah, uh, everyone looks at this and says, who do you think you are? Erica Davidson out of Prisoner, which was the governor. Um, I've got to show you this. This bottle, Southern Comfort Black, it's actually a rare bottle to have. And every time I, I get it, I, I think I'm going to hold on to it. But as you can see, I don't tend to hold on to it. Um, I love that. But yeah, as I said, this is like the setup for um Anyway, that's funny anyway. Alright guys, uh, yeah I just wanted to show you this because I cop a lot of crap. So anyone who's ever seen the show Prisoner, uh yeah, everyone looks at this and just thinks calls me Erica Davis. Up here as I said with the outsiders, that is an original 1983 theatrical poster. It's got a little bit of damage down the bottom, but it's from 1983, so what do you expect? There's Gene Simmons up there. Okay, I'm going to swing around over here. This is basically my office, I suppose, where uh, I do whatever I need to do for work. Also, I muck around on Photoshop, do some video editing. So that's my desk there. Up there, I have a security system throughout the house. So they're the cameras, so I can view whatever's going on around the house while I'm in here. And this is just another office space that I do different things on the project, um, do things for work. And of course, a lot of tools and all that sort of stuff on the garage, on the uh, wall. <coughs> so yeah, basically this is uh, my man cave. We used to get away from everything, which most of you guys in probably do. This was just a rundown garage that um, I decided to rather just get the car in here. So I do have a carport, which I keep my cars in. So, I just thought I'm going to use this as a form of man cave. I did actually forget to show you the projector that's on the roof, but there's one on the roof. And yeah, I just transformed this into what I wanted. So basically, you know, knock back, have a few drinks, I uh, can do whatever out there, it doesn't interfere with the house. I can drop my screen, watch your movies, TV shows, concerts, whatever it may be. So yeah, this is, I love this room. I spend a lot of time out here, I can't help it. Um, but what are you going to do? I love it. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time. See ya.